So we're giving this a shot here, huh? We are going to play some Avalon? Avalon? Avalon. Definitely not Avalon. We're gonna play some Avalon, the night guy. And we have Sign of the Disciple. Blessings are offered are at least Adept, and then Adept Rarity Bonus converts to Expert at 100% rate. So we take our gear and we stack up a bunch of things that say 22.8 more Adept. I think 22.8 is the highest because I've never seen anything higher than that. So 22.8. Uh, any place that we can get it. So one, two. And then I think you can get 22.8 on your amulet as well. But we have a unique amulet that we just got. It's called Double Rainbow. So it's got Adept, Expert, and Master, which is pretty sweet. Um, and then I think the other relevant thing here is our weapon. Because our weapon is a katana that we just found recently with a really good base attack time, 0.45. And then it's got some freezing touch on it too. So currently our God blessings are 74.8, nine and 12. But as soon as we start here, doing some of these 30 darkness things, let's uh, let's see how those numbers go up. Because if there's anything that I like, it's numbers that go up. So everything's adept at least. There's no novice offers. And then we have uh, 48 expert chance and 12 master chance. Gaming, dude. I like it. One of the things we've been working on is uh, putting together a, uh, a beginner guide. Because, I don't know about you, but this is the second of three uh, vampire survivor bullet heaven style games I've ever played. I'm still relatively new to them, but I'm a huge fan so far. And one of the things we talked about is just don't worry too much about killing monsters. You just like dash through them. Oop. You get a tiny bit of experience. But early game, uh, it's more impactful to explore. That might change someday, the patch or something, but we're going to walk around. We're looking for any shrine that gives us permanent buffs. Sorry, Dad. Or experience, or family trauma. Yeah, family trauma is a good one. Um, wait. So these are all adept, and we have like adept. Adept is always offered to us, right? So we would like to have expert or master. Um, I don't mind Mort, given that Mort is probably the strongest thing in the game. So let's go ahead and <clears throat> make good decisions here. It's a no fun allowed stream. We only play the best builds. Well, listen, I don't think people rate uh, the knight character particularly highly. I see a lot of appreciation for Scotty. And there's like, I think there's two Scotty specs that are super strong. There's the white bird and there's also the uh, the apprentice thing. And I, I, I think apprentice is like everybody's favorite. He's and then hard. after that, you also see a lot of appreciation for uh, what do you call it? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, huh. Uh. Hmm. I'm gonna take Summoner. Wait, these are Adept. They're garbage. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What if instead of taking Adept, we rerolled and got that bright red color instead? Yeah. If we already have Mort, we're gonna have Ravens in our build. Boop. And having some uh, some like bonus scaling for our ravens will be quite nice. Yeah. Lady Justice. Oh wait, so we're gonna have time and Mort and Justice. Is that good? A classic combination for this game that's been out for eleven days or so. Classic combination. I do think one of the problems with a. Uh, with these three gods in particular, is that they're best in slot <laughs> for everybody. And every, maybe, maybe, maybe not every build, but uh, they are tremendously strong and you can't really go wrong with them. 
Do, 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 do. Other than writing a, a beginner guide, we also gave a whole bunch of feedback to the devs. Oh, it's adepts! I'm talking and clicking, Chad. I really just clicked on something that's adept. It's too bad. Do, 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 do. We've been, been uh, trying to give feedback to the developers because this game's really good and I like it and I want to see it get better too. So we uh, we give some feedback to the developers. That's that's linked on my Discord and on their Discord in case you want to give feedback or something. But take some library gen, love that. One of the things is like I just feel as though there should be defenses in other places than just justice. Like even even if you can get a tiny bit of life, like life gain on kill or life gain on hits, like the numbers are really low. I don't know. I don't know. Um, and then the other way of sustain, of course, is life regeneration. And the life regeneration numbers that appear on your gear are also like very very low. And there's a lot of chip damage that's like hard to avoid. And I think having some uh, some extra possibilities, like extra places that you could opt into defenses instead of just justice would be good. Because then you have opportunity costs. Like, do you want both of them? Do you want only one of them? Do I like this one instead of that one? I think I think like opportunity costs pretty much everywhere. Are just a good choice. Do, 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 do. You think time is pretty mediocre on uh, on Nixie? To be honest with you, I'm like not a Nixie enjoyer. I haven't really had like an insane run on Nixie because my Nixie only has 45 life and dies a lot. So maybe if I put life on my gear, hmm, like this. Do, 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 do. I take justice on Nixie. I do take justice on Nixie because I don't have much sustain on my gear yet. I don't have like good life gain on hit or life gain on kill stuff. I just took alteration ritual, but I already have Mort, and I kind of think the alteration ritual isn't excellent here. Alteration ritual is really fun and it's pretty strong too. But uh, it gives you like random procs of damage, and you don't really want random procs of damage when you are um, when you're playing Mort. We have Summoner here. Hmm. Are we Mayhem? Yeah, we probably are. Let's go live the dream. Like, we could time basic attack. We could either time basic attack and get like a whole bunch of experience. Or just Mort. And Mort helps us to stack up Mayhem easier. It also deals a ton of damage. Along with consistent applications of Curse. Because like, you apply a Curse, you remove the Curse, you apply a Curse, you remove the Curse. Pretty good way of getting DPS. Take this thing. Ooh, ooh, a piece of candy. So we're looking for uh, we're looking for like ravens from Mort and mayhem from Mort. Because remember, we picked up summoner from time really early on. So any kind of minion that we work into the build um, will be quite strong. I kind of wish there were more minions, though. Like, there's skeletons and ravens, and then that's basically it. Like, what if what if Summer had golems or something? Or what if, what if Winter had golems? Some little, like, snowballs or something that followed you around? I'm so sad that I took this thing. Mm, 
Can I banish it? <clears throat> I kind of want to. Uh, you know what? Hmm. I can banish. I'm gonna banish both of these. Attack crit drops. Banish this. Banish this. I'm gonna banish all of it. Come on. Come on. What are you doing to me? Fine, I'll take the attack speed. Summoner builds are gear reliance? On what? Like having the 24 skeletons follow you around? I assume you're talking about dragons, like dragons and parrots. I don't think the skeleton army is particularly good. But like dragon, for sure. I'm a big, big dragon enjoyer. Ouch. Ouch, that really hurt. Don't fucking do it. Oh my god, that hurt. Oh, we got chunked so hard. <sighs> we want mayhem, right? I can banish sickles and take uh, mayhem? Or not? That could be cool too. Oh, I just dash right back into that. I'm so sloppy. Ooh, don't do it to me. I'm really wishing that I had ravens. Can I can I get this? I don't. Come on. All right, listen. Oh, I have one revival, don't I? Fuck. No, my revival. This stupid, chatty skeleton. Shooting fireballs at me the whole time, too. This is just like... Ugh. Man, you know what would have been nice? I'm going to take fortune here. Speaking of uh of summons, it'd be pretty nice to have a uh a dragon with us, wouldn't it? Kind of fixes your AoE problem before you can pick up AoE on your uh on your boons or whatnot. This guy's still not dead? Holy moly. They did a great job of making that guy as annoying as possible. God, he's so fast, too. <laughs> Alright, life. Listen, what's the point of putting revival on your body armor if you're never going to use it? Everything's fine. More life? Yes. Come on, buddy. Let's 
Let's grab this thing over here from the other boss we killed. Gem high. I'll take it. So we have Mayhem. We have Summoner. Even though Soul Stealer has the minion tag on it, it doesn't seem to scale with spell damage or minion damage. I don't think it scales with anything other than like, you know, your luck and your attack speed. Just apply it more often. <sighs> These are all adept and adept is bad for us. We can banish deadly strike. Birds? They're adept? I'm so sad. I'll take them. I'm just sad. Alright. Birds give us like more curse application, more things that we can punch. Curse scales off three times spell damage. We get spell damage off mayhem. A big old positive feedback loop. Stop I feel like we're kind of behind the curve on our build. Like that gargoyle fight was not good for us. That's fine. We got this. Let's go spell area. There we go. I'll do a check at the 12 minute mark. So we have our mayhems at 64% damage. And our summoner is 192% damage. So pretty much our only clear speed is coming from the proc, from the soul leader proc. And then like whatever random nonsense we have from alteration ritual, which looks like some kind of summer buff right now. The daughter bear. I'm gonna spin this, looking for more morts. Let's go soul later. Luck would be good as well, obviously. Just like have more uh, more things flying on. God bless soul later. Pew pew pew. And then these slimes like continue spawning until the 13 minute mark. Cool. All right. So we were like, what was Mayhem at a second ago? Wasn't Mayhem at like 60 or something? Do I have short term memory? Cause it's at 172 now, it's pretty good. If only I had, like, some kind of small white bird following me around that scaled off of minion damage at an 8 times ratio. I feel like that'd be really strong. Sounds OP. It does sound pretty strong, doesn't it? Take the stupid raven thing. I kind of wonder if White Bird is better than um, Apprentice for Scotty. It feels really easy to play. Experience. I'm going to keep going for Mort stuff here. Or Life Regen. Nah, Mort stuff. Hmm. Or this. I don't think Necromancy is particularly good. Like, it got nerfed, 
and they're kind of slow. I think Ravens are just like much better. Ravens also apply curse, which is, you know, the dream. Look how much better that was than the gargoyle fight that we did previously. I'm gonna banish this thing. Maybe take execution. Execution could give us a little bit of a bonus XP. Yeah, let's try that. Put one point in it and hope that it carries us. Like it gives us two extra levels and it's quite good, right? Speaking of experience, dudes only want one thing, and it's disgusting. Beast time warps around you. The movement speed? Oh. Uh, I'll take duration. What is duration scale? Duration scales... How long the soul eaters are active as they're, like, flying around. Which is kind of like clear speed. It also scales Alteration Ritual. Oh, and it scales Gem High, doesn't it? With like an extra 0.1 or 2 seconds between packs. Yeah. Uh, I think these are all pretty good. I'll take Ravens, though. That's pretty good. All right. Ouch. With the 16 minute mark, Salt Eater, Luckier. What, Luckier? I'm gonna take Luckier here. Look at those birds. The birds are popping up. They're not elite monsters. I mean, like, some of them are, but that's not the word for it. What's the word for all this nonsense? Take a life regen all of a sudden. There's, like, chunky monsters. Beefcake. Sausage party. Sure. We can call it that if you really want. I think Divine Shield. Strong boys. Yeah. 16 minutes is like the strong boy mark. And everybody knows what I'm talking about. Perfect. Time field force. I'm gonna take time field. Time field's kind of like a defensive buff, right? Just makes dudes relax for a moment. We can take I don't I don't think this is really an alteration ritual game. I'm gonna move past it, grab one of these instead. Four to five. Take Soul Stealer. I'm gonna go Soul Stealer because I'm kinda thinking about the um the 19 minute mark. 
And like we have a big duration, we have like a whole bunch of soul stealers. Like that's that's gonna be my clear speed. And hopefully our uh our mayhem can stack up nice and high during the 19 minute mark. And then if it does, that means we'll just kind of steamroll over uh over Dracula, if it's possible. I'm gonna roll past this is from force time field. Nah, it's spin it. Big life regen. Whoa, look at those projectiles. Dodgy, dodgy. And then remember, it's very important that it's not the 19 minute mark when the skeletons spawn. It's actually the 1905 minute mark. So you got five seconds of breather. Please die. God bless. Yeah, you gotta you gotta save your dashes right before the 19 minute mark, uh -huh. so that the two dashes respawn, so that the chatty skeleton spawns. You dash onto him, kill him, and then 1905. Then the skeletons see it's it's all it's all up here, Chen. It's very important. I actually do that. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's, I mean, if you're good, you do that. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> uh, attack speed. Let's go attack speed. Mm, I should have checked mayhem right before and right after this, right? That's a, that's a mistake in my part. So if I save all the experience when Dracula comes, that means I'll be on a gem high. Where you at, buddy? Ouch. Holy damage, dude. Why is that thing? His projectiles have like a 30 second duration. That's cheating, man. You're not the one who's supposed to have fun here. All right, sick. Our mayhem was at 613% damage. It's okay. And then our summoner damage was giving us 368 damage for the, uh, for the Ravens. Nice little action pose at the end there. Not bad. Enemies defeated, pretty low. I think 7,500 enemies defeated is like where you want to be. Soul Stealers, 1.8 million damage. Doesn't seem to scale off a of spell damage, but it just deals percent increase or uh, percent health damage. Yeah. Anything else here we care about? No? Sounds good, man.